Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm just gonna do another random run. I'm, oh god. Really? Isaac? Maggie? Kane? Judas? Judas, alright, that's fine. I don't know why my frame rate got so bad there. Is it still bad? It's still, like, real bad. Hey, there we go. Problem solved. There's our seed. Kazil, please, Goku. Kazil, please, Goku. It doesn't, it's not really how you spell Goku, but you get the idea. Alright. Well, I talked on the last run, which was alternating parts, uh, you know, frustrating and also quite rewarding by the end of it, uh, about how I like... Oh, my gentle fucking Jesus. What do you have to say? Do you want to play Brawlhalla on today's NLSS? Respond, please. It's okay. I'm going offline. Fuck you. That's a message that I sent to youtube.com slash bear taffy. All right. This is, a, this is what happens when I'm on a tight schedule, man. This is what the move has done to me. I'm mixing up my admin work and my fucking recording work and my... You don't even want to see where my twerks are ending up, but... Ten bombs right out the bat. What I was gonna say is that on the last, uh, on the last, uh, show, I was talking about how Maggie's kind of not fun to play as, but nice to play as, because there's no risk of death in the early game. Judas is, like, the exact opposite. The longer the run goes on for, the stronger you get, which is hopefully true for most runs, but, uh, particularly as Judas with his guaranteed deal with the devil interests, but, the early game, you're exceptionally vulnerable, you're like a, like a fucking T-Rex or something like that, like a baby T-Rex, like you come out of the womb, not quite fully formed and all like, you know, falling around and tripping over stuff. But one day, one day my friends, you'll be the king of the... Mesozoic. I don't, I don't remember where the, probably Jurassic, right? Or did Steven Spielberg, Michael Crichton fucking lie to us? Key beggar. Tell you what, I'm gonna blow up said key beggar in the hopes of getting enough money to buy a spirit heart, and that's exactly how that shit went down, Holmes. We're gonna pick that up and hopefully get like one more penny. I don't want to use another bomb to get a single penny. Uh, it's not worth it. I'm sorry. I don't want to. I don't really want to mess up our donation machine that badly. I was hoping to get like an arcade on the next floor because the odds are we'll have a decent chance to get an HP upgrade from our uh, from our boss. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking there's literally only like two possible rooms that could have the second secret room attached to them, so we might as well try to snag an early eternal heart or something, whatever's in there. If it's not there, it has to be here, I think. And inside we find a bunch of pills. That's a decent one for the next floor. Hematomesis is meaningless right now. Speed down is terrible. But, uh, was it worth it for the I Can See Forever pill? That's debatable. Oh, that was a really good idea on my part. Yeah, let's take the secret room shortcut and walk over the fucking spikes, you idiot. Please don't make me fight the haunt right now, I beg you. It, I, I might be fine. I was gonna say probably, but that's a little bit generous. Uh, Duke of Flies. Okay, that's totally fine. Pop this. All's not lost yet. The Northern Lion Hallmark is not being is making mistakes but not being adequately punished for them. And that's what we're trying to pull off right now. Well, at least there's a speed upgrade there. We'll head down to the next floor and we're still in that vulnerable state. That's dangerous but exciting. Much like bungee jumping or Doritos Roulette. You guys have Doritos Roulette? It's a fucking marketing gimmick. I'm, I'm sorry to the Frito-Lay Corporation. Look, I like Doritos as much as the next guy, which is to say, they're alright. I'm not gonna get a tattoo or anything like that, but I bought some Doritos Roulette because I was like, you know what, I like nacho cheese Doritos, but I like spicy stuff as well. So the, the way that it works is the, the, the branding is like, Doritos Roulette. Five out of six chips are nacho cheese, but then every handful, wow, skeleton key again, that's crazy. Every handful, there's gonna be one that's real spicy. And then I had one that was like nacho cheese, and I had one that was like nacho cheese, and I had one that was like nacho cheese, and I had one that was like nacho cheese and very slightly spicier. I was like, Doritos! Concrete corn chips, swear dreams, um, it was basically just like, I was disappointed is what I'm trying to get. I realized that, you know, they can't just offer like the spiciest shit of all time. I'm also not trying to big shot anybody about my tolerance for spicy food. I'm just saying, the, the branding is like, you know, careful. It might get a little too hot for you. 
you know, you might have to call the fucking burn war to deal with your injuries. And it's just like a little spicy. If you want to talk about honest marketing for spicy materials, Dave Thomas and Wendy's with the introduction of the spicy chicken sandwich where Dave was having that, that game with the like mob boss. They're eating each other's spicy chicken sandwiches and that's not a euphemism. There's still something left alive here? They were eating each other's spicy chicken sandwiches and like Dave Thomas gave his Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich to the mob boss and he had to have a glass of water. That's honest, man. The Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich has a very, you know, perceptible tang to it that uh, I think, you know, hydration probably would benefit you. Doritos Roulette just gives a little, it's like the, the five gum commercials, you know, where they like, the world's top scientists have been fucking each other to create super gum producers and then you taste the gum and you're just like, eh, you know, it's okay. It certainly doesn't taste like what the marketing material promised. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. We're fighting Fistula though. Managed to get out of this without fighting the haunt. Um, this is regular Fistula so no bomb flies. I think the better your damage is, the more you actually benefit from fighting the bomb fly versions because you can get those synerg- not synergies, but um... Chain reactions from far away as opposed from like right next to you. I may actually find myself in a very tricky spot here. I was hoping to have at least one spirit heart left so I could um, take any deal with the devil, but I might be screwed out of that slightly. I could be able to take one deal with the devil for sacrificial dagger, and I think it's worth it. Uh, again, sloppy play, but we we lived through it. Let's head down to the next floor. I know there's blue map. I don't. I mean, I like blue map. I don't value it that that highly. Spelunker's hat did help us out a lot in the last round, but whatever. Let's move along. We were very lucky to have gotten, uh, well, first off, Skeleton Key, but also Small Rock super early. Really nice uh, damage upgrade. Helps out a lot if you don't get other damage upgrades. It can still carry you pretty far, and usually Small Rock, I'm not going to say usually it shows up early, but oftentimes it shows up early. You can get it in one of those first few Tinted Rocks that you, uh, you take advantage of. It's very nice. So we, I think we've got a really good base for a Judas run here. Even though we're low on HP, uh, that, that doesn't matter so much because our damage is really good and we actually have a pretty good defensive slash offensive item in uh, in Sacrificial Dagger here. Now Sacrificial Dagger, Kate hates when we play co-op and, and she picks up this item. That was just terrible play right there. Um, because I always end up crashing us into things trying to kill stuff with Sacrificial Dagger. It will result in us taking more damage. Like Sacrificial Dagger will result in me taking more damage. But I still think it's worth it because of how much damage it does to the enemies. It's like, you know... Give a little bit, get a lot, I think. And we're just gonna keep trying to keep our HP relatively high because we don't have uh, any break floors where we won't have deals with the devil here. The only break floor we're gonna get is when we fight Krampus, which honestly, depending on our HP, I wouldn't mind if we fought Krampus on this floor. It's gotta happen at some point. Well, it doesn't have to, but it's very, very likely to happen at some point. Wheel of Fortune. Let's be honest, I'm probably not gonna save that till the chest. I'll probably just blow it up at a at a later date, but it's okay either way. Hoping to save some bombs, blow up some tinted rocks with them. That's a bomb for three cents is not a particularly strong trade, but could be good. Oh my god, that was bad luck, but also poor play on my part. I'll, I'll give it that. I shouldn't have been in that position, but at the same time, pretty bad luck that the shot managed to land like right next to me. No reason to pick up those keys, but that's never stopped me before. And this is where you find yourself financially in a bad position when you just keep consistently having to buy... Oh, that's good, though. Consistently having to buy, um... Spirit Hearts. It, it hurts, man. That's really good. I am hoping to be able to buy, uh... Whatever that awesome item in there was that I've forgotten about now. This is probably so not worth it. But with so many keys, I have to give it a shot. Hey! It's actually alright to get that HP right off the bat. It makes, uh... Makes us have a little bit more flexibility when it comes to deals with the devil. Oh yes, black candle. I would not mind it. I wouldn't mind it at all. So we're definitely not going to get an HP upgrade here. Wouldn't mind a lump of coal. Wouldn't mind like a one heart guppy deal. Wouldn't mind anything that gives us HP while also taking HP away from us. That's alright, it's a Krampus fight. Had to be done, practically speaking. If we get a lump of coal, it's a nice little damage boost that nobody's ever going to be bent out of shape about. And now we can, you know, assume that we'll have a, not good, but potentially valid deals with the devil for the rest of the game. 
But we got uh, Krampus' head. So Krampus' head is not as good, but it is what it is, isn't it? It's a completely meaningless sentence. I apologize on its on my behalf for it. Luckfoot, I like it a lot, actually. Saw a joke, it was like, hey, Northern Lion, you know. It's not a good joke. <laughs> it doesn't really have a punchline. According to Northern Lion, there's only two states for luck. Negative luck and max luck. I know that's not true, okay? I know that you can have, you know, a range in between. And that Luckfoot doesn't necessarily give you max luck. But I, you know, I, I basically my reasoning was that Kane in vanilla had like uh, max luck and the luck foot and I didn't realize that they were just comorbid they weren't actually causally linked etc etc this has to be our secret room so let's give it a shot and tears upgrade is well worth the cost of admission pretty flies well worth the cost of admission and a speed upgrade well worth the cost of admission didn't quite get the money to buy a blue candle but a speed upgrade tears upgrade pretty fly combo as well worth one bomb in case you didn't hear me talking about the price of admission earlier. Let's head down to the next floor. Looking pretty sweet, I gotta say. Certainly a lot faster than the last run, at least. And speed is usually a pretty good indicator of success. Now, I am gonna lose my spirit art coming in here. Remember, we're gonna get our deal with the devil no matter what. This guppy's tail pickup is huge. Hematomesis, not so good for us, maybe. Lockup is great. We're going to take Hematomesis with us for the future because it can help out, but... Um, yeah, the Guppy's Tail Pickup is enormous because of the fact that we have... Uh, we have Skeleton Key. So we, as long as we don't accidentally take a Bombs or Key Pill, we're going to be able to open up so many Golden Chests and just get super sorted out here. So here's how you use Hematomesis in my personal slash professional opinion. Give yourself a decent amount of capital to work with. Hopefully gets Blood Bag. Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up. That's alright. We got up to 15 cents. A little bit of a suboptimal uh, hard pick up there. Relatively minor in the whole scheme of things, I hope. But that uh, that Guppy's Tail pickup is really nice. Not only is it, a, you know, beneficial for us, but it's also a Guppy item. So we'll get Monkey's Paw for the second time in as many episodes. That's alright. Maybe we'll actually be able to make good use of it this time. Not that we really suffered from not making use of it last time very tempted to blow up those mushrooms. Remember that string of videos where we got magic mushroom like 80% of the time? Those were the days, man. Cricket's head, though. I guess pretty much, it's not quite the same, but it's it's up there. It's pretty similar. Very happy to have it. I feel like Cricket's head shows up all the time, but Max's head in vanilla showed up like never. Not that I am complaining. So as if our damage wasn't already good enough, now it is fantastic. And, uh... Stands to get better. That guy's gonna explode into bullets. That guy's just gonna explode. This guy's, uh, he got me at the end of it. Pretty fly, excellent. Well worth it. Uh, we can't really take advantage of it yet, but it is what it is. No bad trip, no bad trip. Full health, I uh, could go to that boss trap room. Boss, boss trap, yeah, not boss rush. Probably should, actually. Key for a key, key for a heart. My best friend, I always call this my best friend. It's not my best friend, it's punching bag. Punchy Bag is, in my opinion, just okay. Sometimes it can fuck up the aggro and actually lead to you getting hit. But it uh, it can also make it so on a fight like a, against Isaac or, or Blue Baby, like you just never get hit at all. So there's some advantage to be had on both sides, I think. I thought that was a good pill. Okay, so that I feel vindicated there. Inside of our golden chest, we pick up Tammy's head. Tammy's head is a really good item that I like a lot, but in this case, I gotta stick with Book of Belial. In many cases, I gotta stick with Book of Belial. I don't necessarily want to say most. Oh my god, now we actually can go with Tammy's head, because we just picked up Goathead right after it. I understand that there is a Tinted Rock there. Probably should come back here, buy a bomb, pop it, hope for some Spirit Hearts, just for survivability. Maybe a second secret room as well. Uh, that's a pretty good bang for our buck right there. Yeah, very, very good. So I won't be gambling on that arcade anymore. I should point out, Tammy's head still might not be the right decision. Like, Book of Belial might be more beneficial, but, you know, the number one complaint that people have when I use Book of Belial is that I don't use Book of Belial. I only use it on bosses. Tammy's head, I'm pretty good about being in the habit of using it all the time. Yeah, and then we got Guppy's head. I like Guppy's head, but we got to stick with uh, Tammy's head here. And honestly, I would I would go so far as to classify this as a one one, one run already. 
We're just too strong. We're too close to becoming Guppy. We, we got a lot of damage as is. And I would be I would be very, very surprised. Like, I'm trying to fathom how we could actually lose this run. There are ways, and they mostly boil down to my own idiocy, but I really, really doubt that, um, that I'm going to play that badly. And this has been a pretty good Judas run. I mean, I've, I've made some mistakes. Wouldn't be the first time. But... Uh, the, the game has seen fit to kind of let us, uh, you know, not suffer too much for those. With Goathead, we don't have to worry about deals with the devil. We're still going to get them. Tammy's head is going to basically kill like half the enemies on any given room. Except that time. That time it only got a quarter. So, you know, mathematically you're right about that one. Still, at this point, should probably stop walking into enemies with um, Sacrificial Dagger. Like, we have enough killing potential to not have to do that consistently. Gonna go to our curse room because I would love to become Guppy right off the bat here. It's not right off the bat, but it's pretty close. Another speed upgrade never hurt anybody. Hematomesis we can save for later. Worked pretty well for us on the last blood bank, even if we didn't get a huge payout financially or HP-wise with it. Next thing, I ask for this a lot, but it would be awesome to get uh, piercing shots so that Tammy's head is just a little bit more uh, practical for us, you know. The shots, they, they can hit multiple enemies instead of just the one. As is, though, even though I'm sloppily, or playing sloppily, taking a little bit of damage, uh, we're, we're pretty much beyond failure, which is not a good attitude to have. But we're on, like, the lift chain of a roller coaster right now. We're not going to fall down. We can use IV bag a little bit here for some extra cash. And that actually worked really well. We're going to end up at like 40 cents, 45 cents actually, that's really good. Oh, we should go back for Tammy's head. I do love IV bag, I'll admit. But I think in this situation, we're probably better off with what we already had. Pandora's box, huh? Pandora's box, Necropolis 1 is four spirit hearts. I'll take it because I want to stick with Tammy's head. Bit of a, a cowardly play to some extent there, you know. Pandora's box is always a fun item to take down with you and see if you can get something a little bit more valuable, but... I, uh, I'm very content with what we've got going on in our run right now, and I don't necessarily want to want to blow it up on a hunch. Not very good damage in my part there. Had a feeling we'd probably have to fight Greed at some point. Hopefully not Super Greed on the next floor, because we actually do financially have the ability to buy whatever we want now. Yes, yes, that was perfect. Blew up the skulls in, like, exactly the right order. And you're going to be mad, but hey, we can probably steal an item from Boss Rush as well and just speed this up without actually having to suffer any consequences. Um, negatively speaking, within the game at least, of course, suffer the consequences of people being mad that I'm doing boss rush. So I never expected it to be such a divisive issue. People are like, hey, stop scumming boss rush. Stop teleporting out. It's against the nature of the game. By the way, can you literally break it by using IV bag and portable slot over and over and, you know, bloody penny? I don't understand what you want from me. 75 cents. That's pretty good. Have not been to our item room yet, so let's come back this way and get that done. If we don't do boss rush, we don't do boss rush. It's not really a prerequisite for our success here. If we do it, we do it. And if we teleport out of it, we teleport out of it, you know? It'll all be okay. Judas's tongue, huh? Uh, Mom's perfume is not that good. I prefer dark matter or just not fear shot at all. But uh, I will take Judas's tongue for maybe some cheaper deals with the devil. The one thing... That is, you know, still giving me a little bit of pause on this run is uh, lack of red HP. But, it's pri uh, I don't think we're going to find a second secret room there. It's probably not the kind of thing that's going to come back to bite me in the ass anytime soon, so. Judas Tongue helps. I don't know if it's going to be super relevant. I forgot this was the adversary. I was like, this is the dark one. Why is he not shooting his brimstone laser at me? I'm just going to get super close to him. Risky proposition. Range upgrade is pretty bad. But, Guppy? Yes, okay. Had to happen. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pop that. Just to take us to the HP cap. And now that we're Guppy, like, we just can't lose on this run. I think the game, in a way, saw what we did on the last run and was like, you know what, I punished you a little bit too much on this run. I'm gonna be a little kinder to you. We're gonna be generating a ton of flies. Those flies themselves will be doing a lot of damage. Another reason to be at one red heart is so we can come to rooms like this. Not that we necessarily need to. But it's a it's a very comfortable position to be in for sure. I didn't even use Tammy's head on that room because we were already going fast enough. 
And an early guppy always makes you feel good because there's a chance that this actually could become like the most powerful run we've ever had. It's unlikely, but possible. So I am gonna make a, I'm gonna go a little faster just to try to get to the boss room, which we're able to do. And then we can teleport out and do our due diligence on the rest of the floor, pick up all those consumables we lost and whatnot. But for now, drop down. Good job. Of course, we gotta deal with the devil. Let's take our Polaroid with us and let's see what we got in here. Abaddon, absolutely. And I'll tell you what, good item? Yeah, Mulligan might be good for us here. I think I'm actually just gonna fight the enemies. Uh, and my reasoning behind that is that we're gonna kill them all super quickly anyway. And we'll get one more item at the end that could actually be good. The smart money is probably still on teleporting away. Because we're fighting like eight bosses to get one more item room, basically, that might effectively just be terrible. But if it's not terrible, what if it's Polyphemus? <laughs> what if it is? The mystery box could be anything, Lois. It could even be a boat. Anyway, as long as we get like a second of sustained damage on an enemy, uh, we, we really are just... Basically, we're fighting one boss at a time. Because all we need is about, you know, two or three seconds to just be attacking a single boss, and then once they die, it's over. You know, then we just attack the other one. It's not going to be quite as fast as some of the other runs we've ever had. I also don't know if the Mulligan actually synergizes with Guppy, but it was either that or Thunder Thighs, and I think Thunder Thighs would actually be worse for us as a result of the speed downgrade. I like the Stompy effect, mostly, but uh, the speed downgrade's annoying. It's going to be a very easy boss rush room anyway. Little Chub didn't stand much of a chance. I know, by the way, that we have uh, Tammy's head. I just don't know when I'm going to use it. So far, it hasn't seemed particularly relevant. Maybe against... Uh, against uh, the Bloat? Or maybe against uh, the Fallen? Like, double Fallen phase might make it work? And we do have some invincibility as well. Unfortunately, it takes forever for enemies to spawn, so unless we like get hit literally at like the last possible second, we're not going to be able to use that invincibility too much, but... Here you go, you savages. Don't say I never do anything for you. It's a boss rush victory. And we're going to use our teleportation card to get out there and, you know, explore the rest of the rooms that we didn't go to yet. Okay, I can't believe that he died so quickly. We're almost done with boss rush. Shit, I forgot I'm supposed to be on the NLSS soon. This might have been a bad idea, but hey, it's it's already done, basically. If I didn't have time to do it right, I shouldn't have done it at all. So let's just, you know, do our due diligence here. I actually kind of wish I stuck with Book of Belial now, because we're doing so much damage that I really don't... It sounds like a paradox. But like, we're doing so much damage now that I don't really want to use Tammy's head, because our existing damage is, like, almost more potent. We got Miter for it, so you know what? That ended up being a pretty, uh, a pretty good call. So let's teleport out. We already went in here, right? What did we we got to Guppy's paw or something? I can't remember. Mysterious liquid's just okay. I know in a recent episode I was like, Mysterious liquid's the shit. It's it's all right. <laughs> I used to think it was worse. Now I kind of like it. And you know, if you didn't think it was a one run before. I hope that you're coming around to it now. Might as well. What is? What does it matter? I guess at this point, might as well stick with Judas's tongue. We already have more than enough keys. Um, yeah, if it wasn't a one run before, it is like absolutely a one run now. We're almost one shotting everything. Every couple of rooms, we get an automatic golden chest, which is uh, just incredible for us. Should go back for that bomb. I really want to, you know, see if I can get like a, an emperor card or something like that, just to speed up. If not the womb one, like a floor soon after. Judgment? Judgment's pretty good. What kind of judgment are you? You are a demon judgment, so now I'll be on the lookout for a uh, chariot card, maybe. And this is another good room for, for card farming purposes. Maybe we'll get blank card in here. I could get rid of Tammy's head for blank. Oh, that's not a shop. <laughs> that's weird. Oh, Hagalas. Yeah, that's, I mean, I wanted to do it, so. Ghost baby for free. And death card. And messy room is just a teleportation to the next floor, so a little bit unfortunate there. Yeah, you know what? We got permanent Polaroid invincibility. I'm going to play this Demon Judgment. I think we can afford it. There's there's HP sitting around for us, like, on the rest of the level anyway. Give me, like, Humbling Bundle, Contract from Below, etc., etc. Two of hearts, huh? Experimental treatment. 
I'll take it. Did give us HP up, but didn't fill the container, which I think is good. Now, we did, um... I think we had our rate of fire lowered, but our shot speed greatly raised. Gotta get that. Um, which is, I guess, a good thing. Rate of fire lowering is a bad thing. No, to, to scratch that, that's all bad. <laughs> I did fill that up. Hopefully we'll be able to trade away our, our heart container there. It's not like, you know, a, a, a tier's downgrade, one tier's downgrade is really gonna cause us to suffer that much here. This is a big room for us. Not for like winning purposes, because that's already mostly sorted out, but if we can get like an Emperor card. Chariot is pretty good. Chaos is probably what we're gonna roll with though. Even though we can kill bosses easily, the Chaos card is the most fun card that we have at our disposal right now. Hermit's not gonna do anything for us. All right, let's um... Well, I mean, that was very tempting to just leave there, but let's see what we got over here. There's our shot. And we get the map. We get a battery charge, and I'll buy the Spirit Heart, and I'll check out the pill. And it's a pretty fly, which does nothing for us, I guess. And we'll donate as much of this money as we can. Very productive run from, like, a, a Rebirth context, man. It's a medium coffee. It's taking me, like, two hours to drink it. I've been talking so much that even Ezekiel thinks that my mind is gone. I'm a man of the land. I'm into discipline. Got a Bible in my hand and a beard on my chin. Let's, uh... That was Weird Al Yankovic. I was not trying to, uh... Engage in any kind of religion or secularism debate. Oh, that was a beautiful second secret room there. Oh, that's another one. That's a weird kind of teleportation. She'd always wanted a 13 Dead End Drive style house with some sweet ass, like, bookshelves that lead to secret passages and stuff like that, but not like this. Down to the next floor. Now we have the map. Map tells me that our boss fight is probably top right. If you're wondering, I mean, it's probably pretty simple, but if you're out there and you're wondering what my methodology is for, for finding those rooms when I don't have the compass, basically it's just as far away as possible and, like, look for kind of a, a dead-end room. Like, the furthest away dead-end is pretty much as, you know, the first principles that I use when I'm trying to divine where one of these uh, boss rooms is. And it, it works with surprising regularity. It at least narrows it down pretty quickly. There you go. Let's see uh, who we got here. Conquest. One of the worst boss fights for us to have here because we really don't want that item and it's a guaranteed item payout without those options. Still got chaos, full health, speed down. Well, that was a very productive floor. <laughs> Might have missed a tinted rock in there. Oh well. Okay, Curse of the Unknown is meaningless here. Uh, I'm thinking bottom left actually, but it could be. This, this is one of those floors where it could be in a lot of different places. I love Tammy's head with Guppy. I feel like I, I, I should have checked this before saying something as audacious as I love Tammy's head with Guppy. What I should say is I like Tammy's head and Guppy, but I do believe that um, Guppy will, like being Guppy will spawn flies from the Tammy's head shots. I'm not totally sure, but I usually feel like when I start a room and I Tammy's head, I have like 50 spiders, or sorry, 50 flies, but maybe that's just because I started with like 50 flies when I came into the room, I don't know. Well, we're never running out of keys on this one. Oh, this ended up just being... It was a special room. It wasn't the special room that I was looking for. We'll check it out anyway. Probably a library of some sort. Key Beggar. Might be mad at me for not using the uh, Book of Secrets or the Key Beggar. I don't want to give him my keys, man, because I'm still holding down for, like, Blank Card Yara Rune. The Key Beggar, you play him, like, a hundred times and he gives you Attack Fly. If we get a Key Beggar on the chest, I will play the shit out of it, but... As for right now, just not particularly interested. I didn't pick up that bomb on the last room. If we find 12 tinted rocks on the cathedral, because you can't find any on the chest, if we find 12 tinted rocks on the cathedral, then you have my permission to be angry at me. There's another guppy item. Weirdly enough, it's our fourth guppy item, but it's the first one that gives us any kind of respawn abilities. Weird. We didn't, yeah, we didn't have dead cat on this run. So now, I'm thinking that, uh, I'll play this guy. I don't really want any HP, but he could possibly give me the compass. I don't really want to play the Demon Judgment. It's just a little too risky. I, I think we'd be fine, but it's just a, this is a slight bit too risky. And that is indeed our uh, mom's heart fight there. 
I kind of want to Chaos card Mom's Heart, because I think it's annoying, but we're going to have a decent number of flies. Might be able to just finish it off before it would even become relevant. Yeah. So I'm glad I didn't use it there. Let's head up to the Cathedral. This one's just trucking right along. This is going to be a fast one. At this point, we were on, like, Depths 1 on our last run, so this is pretty surprising. I'm guessing probably you got top right there. That's the furthest way to go. Probably the most likely outcome for us. As long as we can take, like, three flies from room to room, life's good, man. The more the merrier, of course, but, uh, it's a good start. And if we can Tammy's head multiple enemies, that helps out a ton as well. This one might not be doable. It's all right. Hermit card. Can't really fathom a situation in which that's particularly useful for us. Now what do I want? Luckstat, man. If we can get more luck upgrades. Life is but a dream here. Get more uh, chests, get more items. Anything in that vein is completely fine. Now that is not good damage to take. Will Chaos card Isaac... Look, I'm not going to need 85 keys. Will Chaos card Isaac... Should have done it before all of our flies died, but it's a relatively minor problem. And then we'll head down to the chest and uh, we'll look for some synergies, but Curse of the Unknown is slightly scary. Cursed Eye, huh? Robo Baby 2.0, Demon Baby, Monster Manuel, Cursed Eye. Uh, I'm taking Cursed Eye this time not to be like the asshole who's like, Cursed Eye is good, but because it works with Tammy's head, I think. Like, charge shots plus Tammy's head make Tammy's head stronger. Which is why I'm going to roll with it here. Let's try it. I Maybe not, actually. Chocolate milk definitely does. Wafer, fantastic. You know what? Let's, let's do all these dead ends. So this is probably, like, actually a really bad idea. To take Cursed Eye in this situation. But I thought that if you had it fully charged, it would make Tammy's head do more damage. Maybe it does, and it's just kind of hard to tell. Like, I would have expected that to straight up kill them if that worked, though. I had a full charge stored up there. I don't know, man. Well, if we get chocolate milk, all is forgiven. Nothing there. Uh, we might as well check out this dead end, because it's going to be super quick to take care of. Don't kill you first, please. All right. Or maybe, when I said don't kill you first, what I obviously meant is kill you as soon as possible. One more spirit heart never hurt anybody. That's two extra hits that we can take now as a result of the wafer. Pretty elegant dodge there. And Epic Fetus. I'm not going to take it. Um, I find it's, this is going to be rich, considering how often I take Brimstone Mom's Knife. But I find Epic Fetus kind of boring, and I, it it whitewashes so many synergies that uh, can be a little annoying. Taurus, I, I'm of two minds about. I like it, and I don't like it. I hate the speed downgrade, but I love the, uh, the effect that it gives. All stats up is amazing, of course. Capricorn, one of the best items in the game, bar none. And this is like Taurus plus Sacrificial Dagger, I guess, is really nice. Mini Mush. I think it might actually be, be bad for us, but we'll take it. Oh, never mind. Because of the speed plus range upgrade, we actually uh, just immediately get Taurus on every room now, I guess. Every room with enemies, at least. Okie dokie. Probably that one I can blame on myself if I had to place the blame anywhere. Yeah, that was good damage right there. That's like a pretty good predictive shot from him there, I'll admit. Come on, more chests. More chests. Don't hold out on me. It's still unlosable. I just wish that maybe we had a little bit more, you know, sweet synergies. The end? Not the end. Not that I'm perturbed by it. Sad Onion? I mean, really increases our rate of fire if we need it. As if we need it, I guess I should say. And another one here. Sure, I mean, <laughs> I think we were pretty close to the HP cap anyway, but, you know, the the body gives us a, an awful lot more survivability. Now we have 59 cents. Give me, like, Midas Touch. That's all I ask for at this point. We'd be doing, like, 60 damage every time we ran into an enemy. Halo of Flies, as if we didn't have all the orbitals anyway. We had, like, seven pretty fly pills over the course of that run. By the way, you can use Tammy's head while you are, um in the Taurus state, which is actually quite a nice revelation. We will do that twice against Isaac. There's our world card. You know what, let's... I got a little bit of time here. Let's go back to our secret room. 
and try to see if we can get like a key beggar there for sweet synergies. Oh my god, it's a key beggar! Okay, let's do this shit. Coffee time. We've only got one fight here and it'll be against Blue Baby, it'll be over in like a second, but oh, that's interesting. Mm. You fucking kidding me? The one time you pay out quickly, you chose to pay out with an attack fly like two keys in? Alright, let's do this. Taurus will be ready like right away. We'll pop in here, drop two of those bad boys, and this shit is already over. Well, thanks for watching. That was a really fun run. I had a good time with it. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.